Hey everybody, this is Steve Housen with TonsaTech.com. Today I'm going to do a video on how to get certain uh, video device, video services like um, Netflix and Hulu and CBS.com to play on an Android device. In this case I'm using a Galaxy Tab. And it's not going to play directly on the device. Uh, basically what it's using is a product called PlayOn. And if you haven't heard of PlayOn, it's basically a UPnP server that runs on one of the machines on your network and uh, will handle the streaming of the media and then transcode it and uh, stream it over to your device. So uh, I'll do another video on how to set up the server on the uh, machine on your network, but in this video I just wanted to show you a quick demo of the application itself, which is free. Uh, so just go out to the Android market and download it after you get your server set up. Uh, right now it looks like I'm in my Hulu queue, so let's go back out to the main menu. And these are some of the options that I have set up. I have Hulu, Netflix, NCAA, March Madness, CBS, Comedy Central. I mean, there's a whole list of things. Um, you can even stream your personal info, which is this my, beta, my media. It's in beta, so it's a, it's a little glitchy right now, but it does work. So let's go ahead and start up Hulu since it's on the top there. And when you set up the server, and I'll show in the other video, but when you set up Hulu and Netflix, you put in your account information. So this actually links into your account on those services if you have those accounts. So in Hulu, we have user queue, which is associated with my account, and then just the general TV show, TV genre, TV network, movies, movie genre, you know, all the typical Hulu categories. And just to give you a demo, I'm going to go into my queue. You can sort by date, by name, by play order. I'm just going to go ahead and sort by name here. I actually only have one item in there, which is Fringe. So we'll just go ahead and uh, launch up an episode of Fringe here. Once this play button shows up, and in Hulu it shows you a, uh, you know, a frame capture from the video. And once the play button shows up, you need to tap on the play button and uh, start the video in full screen. So right now it's buffering the video, it's starting the stream, buffering it, and uh, transcoding it, and streaming it over to the device, and there we have it. It's starting the playback, and again this is coming from Hulu to the PlayOn server, and then the PlayOn server is streaming it over to the device. Let's go back out here and uh, show you how Netflix works. All these different areas within Hulu work the same way. So let's go into Netflix. Netflix is very similar. Again, you set up uh, your user account on the server, so this links into your user account. So you can go to your instant queue, or you can browse genres or browse the new arrivals. I'm just gonna go into my queue here. And, um, the options in here are a little bit different. You can view the uh, top 50 in your queue, alphabetic, view it by alphabetic, uh, alphabetically, or view genres. So let's go into alphabetically. Uh, let's just pick a random one here. D. How about some Dexter? Go into Dexter, season one. So for the videos, it lets you drill down to the different. Um, you know, the levels, the season, and the episode. For the movies, obviously, it would start playing immediately. Let's just pick an episode here. And again, once the play button starts up, or shows up, you're good to go. So tap on that. This takes a little bit longer than the Hulu, because it is uh, streaming it from Netflix, so it has to do the negotiation route with Red, uh, Netflix, and, you know, make sure that you, uh, it's an authorized player. But there it goes. You know, it starts reasonably quickly. And you do have some uh, play options here. I don't know how much you can scrub on this. Yeah, so you can't really scrub. But you can uh, pause it and unpause it. And there you go. So as you can see, it... Uh, works very similarly to the Hulu. Actually, all those different areas work very similarly. Let's try a different video here. 
just to show you how quickly it uh, it starts up between videos. Again, it's doing the buffering and everything. All the different areas start are very similar. The CBS will connect to the CBS website and show you the different options from that site. Okay. So I'm not going to show you every option, but uh, that gives you a little taste of a way to get some of these services to play on your Android device. Again, this is a Galaxy Tab, but it definitely works on other devices. And uh, I'll do another video on the server coming up soon. So if you have any other questions or want to see any other videos related to this product, please go ahead and leave a comment either on the website, tonsatech.com, or in the YouTube video. And uh, rate and subscribe on YouTube and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks a lot.